I'm gonna show from my starting position. It's it's you gotta you just go start like I'm doing something very specific, but I have to teach you in a very specific way. Then you can expand it to all your top positions. Okay, so I'm right here and Hayden's hug pull me down right here. He doesn't even have his arm in a good posture. All right. And what I'm going to do, treat, this is something that would be commonly seen in MMA fight where they're trying to hold you close, all right? So my positioning is not, you know how normally we're chest to chest, you know, right here, okay? This is where you got to start bending and breaking rules a little bit, or maybe your, your own rules at least. So what I'm going to do is slide up this way a little bit. My goal eventually with these is to have my body and a line across his, the top of his collarbone and his shoulders. And like, this should be my center line, kind of right here. I shouldn't go, to, especially not down too far this way, because it won't take his arms out of posture. My goal is eventually get his arms weak out here, all right? Not here where he's defending a frame, but way out here, okay? So I'll hug, all right? So I'm right here. I, I shift him way up this way a little bit, okay? Now watch. We know about this, right? Cross facing, we all do it. It's what you're taught on day one, okay? We're gonna go away from that a little bit. We're not gonna go for that. It's gonna work against us, and instead, we're gonna go around their head, elbow fitting like a notch right here, the inside of the elbow, right around his head, and I'm gonna gable grip, okay? This, now you note that my, my chest is against this face right here. This is where I want it to be. I'm gonna turn his face away. Now watch, as I open up a space right here, and my knee drops to the mat. Go ahead and hug, hug it, hug it in. All right, see now using the space right here, I don't get on my toes. All right, you're gonna take your weight off. I know we talk about live toes and all stuff. Great, lots of pressure. It's not, good, not in this situation. All right, and I'm watch. I'm gonna drop my hips down right here. Take his arm out of posture. All right, immediately he's in a bad spot. You'll note that my hip is on top of his arm right here like this, and my chest is against his face, and I just put my knee against his body for me to control and contact. All right, watch again. I'm right here, I shift up. Keep it, all right, I'm open a space up. See, I can't go to my knee right now. I can open the space up, all right? And I, do, I emphasize being on the knee just so you guys don't get in your toes and push your hips up. And look, boom. All right, I can't even pull my arm through his face. And what you guys need to play with on your own when you're joining this is find the locations you need to be, front, back, side to side. All right, one thing, don't switch your hips, okay? Don't do this and put your hip down. Nothing works right here, all right? See, that's what people will do. Instead, drop that hip right there. Lots of pressure. Okay? Is that like a 